Auntie Bet on you. Auntie Rose, your daycare lady, I do not have to worry about her. She's excellent. She has a system. She already has her meal plan planned out. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I need your help with the strawberries. Can you help me with the strawberries? Welcome to Rose's Daycare. For some children, like these children are open at 645 because their mom is supposed to be to work at seven o'clock. So his mom knows that we do breakfast. She doesn't have to worry about it. So I'm very aware of the part that we play and I want to encourage them to eat because I know I'm not going to see him to 2.30. And, a half a cup and sometimes I'm surprised because she can get my kids to eat certain things and I can't. And that just makes the children feel better. Um, it's better for them in school. So in order to service our children, it's what they do, and most importantly, what they eat. Up on your toes, stand count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Like with Jameer, because I know he has a, a weight problem, I, even if I have to pay, I'm gonna pay to keep him in the sport, keep him active, Make sure he's in, involved in every activity to help him keep his weight down. <laughs> so Auntie Rose has got him whipped him in shape. So when he becomes a famous football player, I want my cut. Okay. Goodbye, I'll see you in about 10 minutes. What's important to me is that, is he eating healthy? And if he is hungry, he doesn't do a junkie vending machine. He could say, oh, Auntie Rose put a nice apple in my backpack. Lunch. It's lunch, lunch, lunch. It's lunch. Get your jacket on, Lamaya. It's freezing out there. It's a provision one school, so that allows all the students to get their lunch for free. A lot of the parents, they can't afford lunch because if, if an average, if you were making a little lunch for a kid, you'd probably spend about 200. At eight o'clock, I began to serve breakfast. And throughout the day, I make, uh, I have lunches that come from Prescott Elementary and I reheat the um, food and the children come in and they take items, which is like today's lunch was chicken enchiladas and they also have corn, um, strawberries, and graham crackers and chocolate milk. So whatever's in that lunch, a lot of times that's the first meal these children get. If it's not a healthy lunch, if it's all something processed, it doesn't have any vitamins, that's the, the most nutrition some of those children get. <laughs> One thing I would like to see changed is better, more food, different types of foods, and allow them to try things they never tried. Some of the parents don't get home till 8 or 9 o'clock at night. They didn't eat breakfast. Their friend might have gave them a piece of candy at school. They didn't get a snack that main school lunch. That's the nutrition that child has got. I'm trusting that the school is giving them something healthy, but honestly, I really don't know unless Jameer tell me and I ask him. What you get? Oh, you, you, know. you guys are really fast. That was really fast. So everybody has their own method and they we're Can all we doing really well. Take out more? We are here at Lafayette Elementary School at one of our five garden sites um, in Oakland. And um, our basically our mission is giving kids um, healthy options because here in West Oakland where we are, 18th and Market, um, this entire neighborhood is what's considered a food desert. For one, we don't have access to um, fresh food. Um, the majority of the food we have here is prepackaged. Because of that, 
We have a lot of obesity. We have a lot of diabetes. Look at a ladybug. Come on, ladybug. So we bring them into the garden during the O-bugs time, and they um, harvest, prepare, cook, and then eat a healthy snack. I got, I got five. Oh, wait, no, no. It's right here. I mean, I got five. Too. I got six. We've heard kids say things like, it's kind of heartbreaking things like, when I'm at O-bugs, it's the only time that I eat fresh vegetables. That's once a week. And the kids are sitting here at a table eating and cleaning their plate of a fresh meal, freshly harvested. I mean, they're engaged in it because they have actually gone and picked the plants themselves, chopped it up, and made a meal. So the eggs are going to cook in here. We made scrambled eggs with what kind of veggies? Raise your hand. What did you help cook today? Broccoli. Broccoli, Xavier. What else? Jordan. My grandmother uh, migrated here um, from the south and she came here and grew a garden. So partly what I think is really important about having a garden is to rebuild the connections to our ancestry of, of gardening and of, of food, the passage of food. And we're just providing a place, a safe place for them to discover that magic again because kids are naturally curious about the natural environment. They're just, they're wired that way. After I had my daughter, she's two, I was like 363 pounds. When I was pregnant with Jameer, I was 400 pounds. And like, I just knew that I needed to be healthier. And since my kids was young, you know, younger, that I can work on it. And so I decided to take action and so I wanted to live longer. I started to lose weight. So I just started eating different. Some, I know what I eat my kids don't like, so I don't force my eating habits on them, but I do make it a little bit healthier for them. We have pork chop. We have Brussels sprouts. Pork chops for the kids. I'm making something different because I may not eat nothing. We're gonna see how it turns out.